All right. Question and answer time. Somebody got a question. Yes. I was wondering if you had any advice uh, about what you should wear when you're performing. What you should wear when you're performing. Well, part of it, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's part about uh, the quality of the performance you're going to. That's a bigger... If it's just an open mic or something, you can wear anything that you want, you're comfortable in, et cetera, et cetera, because nobody really cares. You're out there trying material or you're doing something or you're just getting up and, and uh, stuff. So the, the, I call it a show of no consequence. You know, yeah, just dress comfortably and, and feel good about it. Now, if you think there's going to be somebody there that's going to see you, even if it's a runner uh, of a, another room or uh, you're going to a major club to do a, a nice show, uh, even if it's like a bringer room and stuff, which I don't always recommend, but there are a few that are worth doing. Uh, I won't, you should dress so the audience knows you thought about it. Okay? It, it, don't, don't, you know, some people just put on jeans and t-shirts, that's what they do now, and they don't really think about it. What's your image? How do you want to come across to the audience, you know? Uh, some people should wear a little suit and tie because they're rather formal people. Some people, you know, uh, should wear nicer clothes like you're going to church or something, uh, as they used to say. Uh, it, it has to do with how you want to present yourself. So by doing that, now all of a sudden, uh, you have an impact on the audience in a way you want to have an impact. Understand, it's all about communication, okay? You're dressing, and, and the communicate, you're communicating to the audience who you are, okay? Steve Martin used to do the wild, crazy guy kind of a thing and stuff. He had a beard and long hair and scruffy clothes and stuff like that. And it was doing good. And then one day he just shaved it all off, cut his hair, put on a suit and tie and looked like an accountant. Now that accountant acting like Steve Martin, was he, that, turned, that turned, turned, turned his career around. Because now he becomes that jerk we see at the office that thinks he's good at everything and is lousy at everything. Same thing with George Carlin. He used to wear a suit and tie. Okay, and he did the hippy-dippy weatherman. Uh, you know, when he first started doing television and stuff, he disappeared for a while, came back with long hair, you know, T-shirts, jeans, boots. But it was a look. It was in the 60s and 70s. He wanted that kind of hippie counterculture uh, angle, so it became it, that became the look that he was doing. So uh, that's what I say is is you know if you're an every everyday Joe just hanging out with everybody, yeah, wear what everybody else is wearing. Uh, if you're a little bit of an oddball, wear a little bit of oddball clothes. Uh, Gala does. Gala's sense of fashion is a little strange, but she's a little strange. So uh, again, so. It's mostly, it, there's no right answer to it, but, it, you know, again, it's part of how you're communicating with your audience and to the people who could give you work. For them to say, oh, that what they're presenting matches who they are and supports their show. And that's why I say, spend a little bit of time thinking about it.